Hey guys, and welcome to my haul and review video for cndirect.com. They approached me a few weeks ago and sent me some stuff, actually a little bit ago, but I've been sick recently for the past like week and a half, and my voice was gone, and so I couldn't record anything, and you can still kind of hear it a little bit. Um, so I'm sorry about that, and I'm sorry that this video is technically really late, but let's just dive right in. So their layout and their site isn't exactly the best. I've seen better in terms of aesthetically pleasing, and it's not like the most fun to shop on. Um, for me, when I'm online shopping, it's kind of like when you walk in stores. It's like, is the atmosphere fun? Do you like looking at the stuff? This is kind of hard to describe, but you guys probably understand a little bit of... When you're shopping online, you want to have the website look nice and be pleasing to your eye. And with CN Direct, it wasn't really there. In terms of their products, they had a lot but the categories weren't sorted very well. So you would see like sweaters in the tank top section, which would make you think that you're not seeing every option when you're clicking on a category because there could be things in other categories elsewhere. And so that was a little bit frustrating because then I felt like I had to see everything just in case I missed a really cool top that was actually in the jeans section. But it was really fun how many things they had besides just clothing. They had dog stuff, electronics, baby stuff, wedding stuff home stuff. It was really cool, like, how much they had. They had stolen pictures, which is starting to become just kind of an obvious thing, but this time I didn't have any issues with things not being as pictured. Um, that's one thing where with these retailers that um, I've been approached by the most, they all use stolen pictures. Um, the only retailers that do not use stolen pictures are those who actually kind of sell their own products or take their own photos. So. It's something that I'm going to bring up every time, but I'm only going to have an issue with it if things are not as pictured, because that's when you get into issues. I can't find other words today. Again, you could only leave reviews if you have bought the item. A little warning comes up that products can only be reviewed after delivery, which is awesome. And I'm glad to see that now it's like consistently three in a row have that, and I have a feeling we're not going to be seeing any more where you can leave reviews without purchasing something. They had fantastic prices, comparable to Dresslink, just so cheap, it was really fun. Um, for me that's always the kicker, is how cheap are things, and obviously that can lead to quality issues, but ultimately I'd rather pay 3 bucks for something that I wanted, if it turns out to be a shitty quality, than like 10 bucks, which is the same item which is also of shit quality, just more expensive, so, eh. They had cheap shipping, it was fairly fast, it took around 10 days. Um, this also seems to be a new pattern with these retailers. Back when I would buy stuff internationally, things would take 25 days, up to a month, and now things are coming in like a week and a half, and that is fantastic. There's nothing special about their customer photos. It was just like a tab down underneath the product next to reviews. I think you could post videos of items too, but it was pretty standard. I've seen that set up on lots of other sites too. But I didn't have any issues with this order. Nothing was the wrong size or the wrong item. Nothing was sold out that I had to pick again. And so that was really nice how just everything came. Everything was what it said it was, and yeah. So now let's get on to the products themselves, which is the fun part. First, I got some makeup brushes. These four brushes were $1.80. They turned out to be bigger than I expected, um, and a lot like fluffier than I expected. You can see that I've used a couple of them, and um, they're okay, you know. They're really, really, really soft, but they're not the best ever. You can see that they're really fluffy, and so that means that um, they're not going to give you a lot of pigment on there, or at least that's what I found, is that I actually, I used them to do my eyes today, or I used, I used the slanty one, and so I can try to give you a little bit of a close-up. Let's get personal here. As you can see, it's just like very shadowy, very soft, very light. Um, and that's, that's what I found with the other brushes too that I tried, is that at least for eyeshadow, which is what I use my brushes for because I don't know how to do things, um, it's good for shadowy stuff, good for blending, but not good for intense pigment and for um, details. Also, the brushes kind of don't do different things that I've found. I'm sure the flat, the flat one does, um, if I took the time to like experiment and look it up. But like between these two, I was using them and they're giving me the same effect. They're good kind of like backup-y brushes or just like if I want to do a quick thing. Overall, for the price, not bad. Next, I got these socks because I surprisingly don't have any striped thigh-high socks. And they're a really good deal, so I went for it. They're a little bit too tight and go sheer when I wear them above my knee, so I wish that they were a little bit bigger, but at least I know that they won't fall down. So overall they're not bad and they'll definitely work. 
Then I got this swimsuit because I've actually wanted it for a while and I don't have a plain black one and it was so cheap so I decided to go for it. But it turns out just to be of horrible quality. The swimsuit bottoms are completely unwearable. They just don't make sense in terms of the design. And the top came with the halter straps as one connected strap that I had to cut in the middle so that I could adjust it. The stitching is starting to come undone and the strings don't stay tied together very well. But it is pretty cute so I might get some wear out of it. But it definitely sucks with how horrible the quality is, but that is kind of a risk that I took with how cheap it was. But then I got this super awesome faux corset belt, which has lacing in the front, a velcro closure in the back, and the rest is elastic. It is a super cute accessory, um, and I'm really excited about it. But I am definitely glad that I'm not smaller, just because, as you can see, it's as laced up as it can be. It's comfortable, it's very secure, and it is of high quality, which is very fun for how cheap it was. And after the really shitty swimsuit, I am super happy about it. Then lastly, I got this long sleeve galaxy crop top, which is just stunning. However, since it is one size, the arms are a little bit too short, which makes it a little bit awkward. But ultimately, since that's my only issue, I fucking love it. As you can see, it's super bright, and the print itself is really clear. The material is really soft and feels super cool, and I'm just super satisfied with this. Even though it strays from my usual black, I have a feeling I'm going to wear this a lot. So that's it for all the products that I chose and were sent to me for this order. So overall, I would give Sand Direct a C+. They really won with prices, I had no issues, they had a huge variety with products, but nothing super stands out in terms of what would bump them up a letter grade. Their layout wasn't very pleasing like I was talking about, the shipping is the same as the rest, the categories were not well sorted, which is which kind of fucking sucked. I would choose other shops over this one, and I always go back to Dresslink because so far out of the ones that I've been doing in-depth reviews of, that's the one that I liked the most. They got the highest grade, and so with CN Direct, I would choose other ones over this one. But if they did have something that I couldn't find elsewhere, like a product that wasn't on any of the other sites, then I would consider buying it just because I did have a good experience. It was fast shipping. The prices were great. You know, there's nothing bad with CN Direct. It would just be personal preference at this point. So yeah, that is it for CN Direct for this haul and review. I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think of the products, other things that I got. Let me know if you have shopped there before, and let me know if you would agree with my review. Feel free to subscribe if you are not already, and feel free to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. All the links will be in the description, as well as the product links for CNDirect.com. So if you really liked that Galaxy crop top, you can check that out. And I also had a bunch of different prints for that one, so you should look at those. They were really fun. It was hard to choose. Anyway, so yeah, that's all I got, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!